Hi guys and girls. Today we are going to do Entitled Parents, don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see my next videos. Let's get right into it. Let my kids pet your wolf. Hey guys. Was going to post another Entitled Parent story about my pregnancy adventures, but a recent trip to the dog park reminded me of something that happened last year. Going off of memory so please pardon me for any mistakes. Cast is me, Ed equals Entitled Dad, H equals my husband, K1 equals Kid 1 and K2 equals Kid 2. On mobile so pardon for any small grammar forward slash spelling mistakes. Me and my husband have two dogs. We love our dogs as much as we will love our child. After a lot of searching, saving, and hoping, we each finally got our dream dogs. My husband got his black Labrador and I got my Alaskan Malamute. Now, some things about Malamutes, which is important to know for this incident, Malamutes take great resemblance to Siberian Huskies but they are larger and have a lot more muscle. They do resemble wolves but trust me, you can tell they are not wolves. Malamutes can get up to be over 100 lbs. They are large teddy bears and love people. I adore my dog and love to cuddle up with him. Anyway, back to the story. My husband and I took our dogs to the dog park to let them run off some energy. Our lab loves to run, play fetch and jump around on the play equipment set up for dogs to play on. My dog. He does his own thing. Wanders around, runs laps when he feels like it, and overall just chills out. The dog park is very large and the perfect place for our dogs. My husband was on the other side of the park with our lab and I was on the opposite, following my fluffy boy around when I hear voices. K1, Wolfie. Look, it's a Wolfie. Over at the fence is Ed, K1 and K2. The kids, I'm guessing, were between 5 and 7 years old. Both boys. My boy, noticing them, happily prances over and starts sniffing them through the gate. He loves people. K2, I wanna pet the wolf. I walk over with a smile on, trying to be polite. The Ed was a large, beer belly, going bald typical looking dad. If I had to guess, late 30s. Ed, be careful, wolves can bite. I remember it being weird that one, he seemed to say it in a worried voice yet didn't pull his kids away and two, that this adult couldn't tell that this was a dog. Maybe he was just messing with his boys. Me, oh, he's not a wolf. He's a friendly doggy who loves attention. Ed snapped at me. Ed, no, I know a wolf when I see one. That's a wolf. Don't lie to me. My dog is still sniffing the kids through the gate, whining and wanting to be pet. Me, no sir, he's an Alaskan Malamute. Not a wolf. K1, I wanna pet the wolfie. Nowadays, I happily let people pet him. But at the time he wasn't quite a year old yet and we were still training him. He's almost 100 lbs and these were little kids. He can easily hurt them unintentionally. Me, I'm sorry, but he's a pretty big dog. I don't want him to hurt you guys on accident. Ed, it's fine, they can pet him. The Ed starts to walk the kids towards the gate to enter the dog park. Me, sir, I'm not comfortable with him around little kids yet. We are still training him. Ed, my kids will be fine. Just shut up and keep him still while my kids pet him. Now, I'm pissed. Not only did this guy not even ask to pet my dog, but he seriously expected me to just hold on to my still in training 100 pound dog while he gets excited about meeting new people. Me, I said no. Keep your kids out of the park. He can hurt them. Ed stopped and completely snapped at me. Ed, listen you stupid b asterisk 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 asterisk. If my boys want to pet your wolf, they can pet him. Shut the f asterisk 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 up and hold him. At this point my husband heard the yelling and ran over with our lab happily following along. H, you okay? What's wrong? Ed, this b asterisk 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 won't let my kids pet her wolf. 
My husband does not like confrontation in the slightest, but he is always quick to defend me. H, do not speak to my wife that way. He is a large dog and we are still training him. If she says no, it means no. The entire time my husband is yelling, the kids keep trying to call our dogs over to them, but my husband grabbed our lab by his collar and I grabbed my Malamute, trying to keep him away from the gate. Me, to my husband, forget this, we should just leave. Thankfully, his truck was on the other side of the park. Ed, no, my kids will pet the wolf. H looked at our fur babies. H, boys, wanna race. Every time we say wanna race they perk up and run alongside H, kinda as a game. We use it to get them to leave the park whenever we say, rather than drag them out when they don't want to leave. My husband ran ahead with them to the truck while I hurried behind, I am very out of shape. The Ed was screaming and cursing while K1 and K2 cried. I felt really bad for them. They weren't mean or acted entitled, but I just couldn't let them pet my boy without a fear of him accidentally jumping all over them and hurting them. We got them in the bed of the truck before Ed was even halfway through the park, still screaming. I can't remember where the kids were. We got in the truck and pulled away right as Ed reached the gate on our side of the park. I flipped him off as we drove away. We never saw them at the park again, thank God. It's our favorite place to take them to play. My boy has been trained up a lot more now. Took a long time since Malamutes are stubborn as hell. And now I have no problem letting kids pet him, as long as I'm near him. Not the most exciting story. No cops called. Never saw him again. Glad we never experienced that again at that park. If anyone knows how I can attach a picture of him to this story, let me know and I will but his puppy picture is my profile pic, he was about 6 weeks old, taken by his breeder before we could bring him home, I'm still new to reddit and figuring things out. Please, if someone says no to petting their dog, please take it as a no. Especially if little kids are involved. My dogs are not vicious at all but untrained large dogs can seriously hurt someone unintentionally if you don't listen to their owners. Thanks for reading. Edit, fixed some spelling mistakes, my apologies. Didn't catch them and I'm a moron. Also, for those saying I should have let him just play with them and let the kids get hurt to teach the guy a lesson, I didn't do it for two reasons. It wasn't the kid's fault the Ed was acting like an asterisk asterisk hole and I didn't want them hurt because of it. And two, I've had family lose dogs because of situations like this. All it takes is one call to the cops to start a case against us and run the risk of losing our dog because of his stupidity and refusal to listen. One little lie about him being aggressive can be all it takes. For those asking for a pic, his current pic is my profile pic. Thanks.